The first prototype of the aircraft was presented on July 20, 2021 at the International Aviation and Space Salon, MAX 2021. Checkmate is a multifunctional 5-plus generation fighter. The aircraft is being developed at the Sukhoi Design Bureau. Therefore, among engineers and designers, it is called the SU-75. The fighter is made according to the traditional aerodynamic configuration with a V-shaped tail. Recall that the V-shaped plumage improves stealth properties. This is an important characteristic for all modern fighters. The flip side of such a technical decision, control difficulty. The total takeoff weight of Checkmate does not exceed 18 tons, of which 7.5 tons are weapons. In the fuselage, there are three compartments for suspended weapons, two side compartments designed for short-range air-to-air missiles R-74M. The range of these missiles is 25 miles. The main compartment is suitable for accommodating either three more air-to-air -air missiles or two air-to-ground missiles. It is also possible to arm the Checkmate with guided high-precision bombs such as KAB-500 with a concrete-piercing warhead for the destruction of concrete floors, as well as a high-explosive and volumetric detonating warhead to defeat infantry and enemy equipment with a shockwave, including in shelters. Note that the KAB-500 bombs have a gliding property. This will allow the Checkmate pilot to use them without entering the enemy's dangerous air defense zone. No less interesting, Bomb K029BE, which is also designed to destroy protected ground targets. K029BE glides up to 30 miles. The bomb weighs 53,792.79 ounces and can be dropped from a height of up to 50,000 feet. Checkmate's maximum ceiling is approximately 55,000 feet. Combat radius, 900 miles. With such weapons and characteristics, Checkmate is capable of performing the functions of a frontline bomber and, if necessary, overcome the enemy's air defense by using stealth. The airborne radar on board the fighter has an active phased array for electronic beam control. In front of the cockpit, there is an optical location station. Under the fuselage, on the right of the front landing gear, there is an optical electronic sighting system, KOEPS-75. However, work on this system has not yet been completed. Therefore, the exact technical parameters of KOEPS-75 are unknown. The most interesting thing about Checkmate is the propulsion system. The fighter is equipped with one engine, which is familiar to us from the Su-57. This is a bypass turbojet engine with afterburner, TRDDF. Its tests were completed quite recently. The engine has multi-stage high and low pressure compressors, a combustion chamber, and multi-stage turbines. Behind the turbines are the afterburner and the controlled nozzle thrust vector. Interestingly, there is only one engine. However, due to its low weight and controllable vector thrust, even with one unit, Checkmate has a short takeoff and landing, as well as exceptional maneuverability. In addition, the Sukhoi designers have strengthened the landing gear, which reduces the requirements for the quality of the runway. This measure expands the network of airfields capable of receiving Checkmate. Meanwhile, the ability to export the aircraft have increased. There is no doubt that Checkmate is primarily intended for export. By information from the creators, the aircraft is being developed for delivery to the Russian Aerospace Forces, as well as for export to the Middle East, Asia Pacific, Latin America, and India. The main advantage of the single-engine design is the price. The fact is that more than half the cost of a combat aircraft goes specifically into the power plant and fuel system. Therefore, single-engine aircraft are much cheaper than heavy fighters. With regard to combat qualities, then onboard equipment, radar systems, and the maneuverability of single-engine fighters is almost as good as their heavy counterparts and the difference in combat power due to the lower mass, as a rule, does not exceed 20%. Survivability is a different issue. After all, an aircraft with two engines has the ability to reach an airfield even if one unit fails. But if the plane is equipped with systems increasing stealth, then the likelihood of such a situation is reduced. For example, for the single-engine F-35, the threat exists only in countries with advanced air defense complexes. And there are just a few countries, Russia, China, India, and Turkey, which have the Russian ZRS S-400 air defense system, designed to destroy all modern and promising developing means of aerospace attack, including hypersonic.
In the rest of the planet, the F-35 has nothing to fear. There are many fighters with one engine in the world, but for some reason, the Russians considered the American F-35 as the main rival for the Checkmate. Of course, not in face-to-face -face confrontation. Here, the Checkmate stands little chance. And in terms of armament and technical characteristics, the Russian fighter is inferior to the Lightning. We're talking about competition in foreign arms markets. Checkmate is categorized as light tactical aircraft. In military affairs, the term tactical indicates compactness, but above all, the ability to solve combat missions independently, alone, without outside support. It would seem that the appearance of Checkmate completely contradicts the current paradigm, according to which there is an evolution of modern fighters. Recall that the strategists of future wars consider the aircraft as the control center of a whole combat system. Such a complex, according to the modern doctrine of the U.S. Air Force, includes attack drones and drone scouts. At the same time, the fighter itself is capable of performing several tasks at once. Capture and escort targets, strike to kill, destroy ground targets and enemy satellites, or transfer coordinates of targets to other strike groups. Obviously, this paradigm works. Let's remember at least the super successful use of the F-22 by U.S. Air Force against Islamists in Syria. It seems to be the perfect example of combat use of the modern fighter, when one or a pair of fighters solve dozens of tasks. However, the Russians, having created Checkmate, deliberately went in the opposite direction. In their mind, it's a lone fighter. What has changed in the world to make such a decision? What is the meaning of the Turn the Chessboard slogan? Let's start with history. The idea of a cheap fighter jet remained relevant after World War II. At that time, in intense combat operations on all fronts were recorded colossal aircraft losses. However, over time, fighters became more sophisticated and more expensive. As a result, the planes became heavier, more functional, but more expensive. Heavier and more advanced modifications appeared. This trend was seen in both the USA and the USSR. Eternal rivals worried a little about this fact. The moment had to come when the rest of the countries would no longer be able to afford such cost. This moment first came in the mid-70s of the last century, when the pendulum swung in the other side. After some time, the United States acquired the legendary F-16 Fighting Falcon, which sold fantastic numbers and became a bestseller. By the way, Falcon is still in production, is in service with three dozen countries, and competes in tenders with the modern European fighters. F-16's performance is impressive even today. It is possible that the states will extend their operation and licensed production. Therefore, it is more correct to consider Checkmate a competitor to Falcon. Many countries want to have more modern technology in their air forces. In a situation with F-16, time takes its toll. However, not everyone is willing to pay for the F-35, the price of which can easily exceed the $100 million mark. The same goes for the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale. Although European fighters are not single-engine, but even the most budgetary Gripen cost $45 to $50 million. It turns out the weapons market has a latent demand for budget fighters and single-engine models are the most suitable option. It was at this moment that Russia announces the release of Checkmate. The price of the fighter, according to representatives of the Russian state corporation Rostec, will be 25 to $30 million. If so, then it really is turn the chessboard. Of course, many Western military experts had time to laugh at the Russian idea. In the States, Checkmate is nicknamed Screamer, formally for a large air intake but everyone understands that it is a hint at loud statements by representatives of the Russian side that Checkmate will compete with the F-35. If it does, it will only do so in business. And in order to completely break the market, the Russians want to endow Checkmate with artificial intelligence. In theory, this can neutralize the difficulties with management, another plus in the piggy bank of Checkmate's market appeal although it should be noted that so far nothing is known about the successes of the Russians in the development of AI. There are other reasons for the emergence of Checkmate, not market, but political. In the opinion of many analysts, a series of local military conflicts awaits the world in the near future. The first signs were the war in Donbass and the conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh. Yalta's security system is clearly outdated. 
the conflicts in Georgia, on the border with unrecognized Abkhazia and South Ossetia, are in a smoldering state. Traditionally, the Middle East remains a hotspot, and China does not hide their claims against Taiwan and Japan. The use of expensive heavy aircraft in local confrontations is not justified. The risk of losing a plane is greater than the results of this kind of wars. When a powerful air defense system and enemy aircraft are engaged, the fighter performs five, maximum ten, sorties. Then it either goes into repair due to damage or is knocked down. Losing expensive heavy aircraft is too costly. We are closely following developments in the aircraft industry. Stay tuned so you don't miss anything.